I used to think YouTube Shorts was all luck, but after posting over 150 YouTube Shorts across three different channels, I am now earning $2,000 a month from one channel, and I can now confirm there's no luck to YouTube Shorts. Here's a guide on how to make viral shorts so you can start seeing similar results. Step one, create a YouTube channel about something you're interested in so we can upload shorts. And there are two types of short channels you can create, one that repurposes content and one that uploads original content that you create yourself. My channel is the repurposed type and I also recommend you take a similar approach if you want to make money as fast as possible. This is because you have an infinite amount of content and you don't need any skills or talent to be successful. You literally only need to know how to use video editing software which I'll explain how to use later. Step 2. To have the highest chances of going viral within your first 5 shorts, I recommend you search your niche and view what's already working for inspiration because what's working for other channels will likely work for yours. When I started my channel I posted 6 Six shorts around topics I thought would go viral. They didn't go viral and then I decided to take inspiration from what's already working. This decision caused my channel to get its first viral short only on the seventh upload to the channel. And I didn't realize until I had posted another 39 shorts to my channel that there was something different about this short that made it go viral. The difference between this short and all the other shorts on my channel was that it had high retention. And retention is the most important YouTube metric behind any short going viral on YouTube. I I identified two techniques that I accidentally applied to the short to make it have high retention. And ever since learning these techniques, they have been responsible for all of the viral shorts on my channel. Continue watching to see how to apply these techniques when you create your first short. Step three, source clips to use within your first short. I have sourced every clip I've ever used in all of my shorts from YouTube. And using the trending topics you found in step two, search for that topic on YouTube to find clips. Since my channel is in the football niche, I will search Neymar funny moments. And I'll select this short here because I can immediately see that it already has high engagement. And since I want to use this clip within my short, we need to download it by finding the original video that the clip is from. You should always find the original video because the quality will be much higher and there won't be any watermarks. And in general, we just don't want to be downloading other people's shorts and uploading them as our own. For my channel, I can see every re-uploaded short of mine and YouTube shadow bans this content. But to find the original clip, you will want to describe exactly what the clip is about in the search bar. It's easy to find the original clip using this method, but sometimes the clip you want is within a large video. And since we found it, we will copy the URL and head to Google and search for a free YouTube video downloader. Most of the shorts are my channel compilations, so I repeat this for multiple clips. Step four, if you want to make money from the clips you downloaded, you have to make sure you're adding some type of edit. And to prove you can make money from this, we can look at the YouTube monetization rules for reused content, where if you edit your shorts, you'll meet this approved criteria of making a funny or thoughtful revision of content you didn't originally create. And if your content doesn't fall with any of these don'ts, you'll be making money from YouTube Shorts. Step 5. It's now time to edit your short and I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro but you can follow along using any other type of video editing software since almost all have a timeline feature. And before we start doing edits to increase retention we first need to get our edit ready. To start use a frame size of 1080 in the horizontal and 1920 in the vertical. You will have to google how to change your frame size depending on what type of software you're using. But next I will drag in the downloaded clips into the timeline and I will delete the original sound because for my content, the sound adds no value. It's usually just some boring background noises. If you're doing some type of content that the audio adds value, of course you'll have to keep it in. And since my clip is within a large video, we'll have to use the cutting tool to cut the clip at the exact moment we want to use. And I'll delete the leftover clips and repeat this for all of my clips. Because as I mentioned, I'm creating a compilation. And we don't want to show these black borders, so we'll increase the scale of the video and then reposition it so it's centered within the frame. Step 6. Aim to achieve high retention because as I mentioned, retention is the key metric behind any short going viral. The second technique I learned from studying my first viral short was that within the first second, I already had one text edit, one highlighted circle and two sounds. These types of edits appeared every two seconds throughout the entire short to keep the viewer engaged both visually and auditory. And now we will apply this technique by adding our first edit just after the short starts because we want change to occur within the first instant. This will stop viewers continuing to scroll on their feed and they'll actually watch our short. And at this point, I will drag in a graphic such as a laughing emoji and place it above Neymar's head. Because for this context, Neymar is mocking the reporter and it's funny. I will drag in and align a pop sound effect as soon as the graphic appears on the screen 
Again, we are creating both visual and auditory change constantly. I do recommend you create a folder full of sound effects and graphics because you'll be constantly adding these throughout your entire short. Now back to the edit, I will add some more graphics such as an arrow and text to really highlight the video topic which is Neymar. Now I will repeat the step where I add frequent edits every two seconds while ensuring that each graphic has a paired sound effect. And I will make sure I don't use the same type of graphic every single edit because you want to feed the viewer with new content. As a side note, you should be adding these frequent edits to any niche, but adjust them to suit the style of niche. For example, if you're creating motivational shorts, you shouldn't be adding laughing emojis because that's just not the style. I know of so many different short channels that apply these same concepts, but just adjust them to suit their niche and as you could expect it is making their shorts go viral step six add trending music to your short you can still monetize your shorts even if you use copyrighted music and a lot of people get confused about this because after you upload a short with copyrighted music you will see a copyright restriction in your youtube studio but if you roll over the copyright restriction you will see it reads copyright protected content found but it doesn't affect your short also you can see my channel has monetization on for all of my shorts regardless of it having a copyright restriction or not. Step 7. Export the short in the highest quality possible and then upload it to your channel and your views will probably explode for the first hour and then they'll flatline. This is something that's so discouraging about starting a new YouTube Shorts channel and something that doesn't make sense at all. For example, my first viral short received 7,000 views within the first 25 minutes and then it proceeded to flatline over a 24 hour period. But if we change the time period to lifetime, you can see that the short didn't go viral for two days. No one can actually prove why this happens to shorts, but I think it's YouTube's way of testing your short to a small group of viewers to see if it's a good video. And you need to understand one thing about YouTube shorts is that it's a fair game, where if you create a good video that has high retention, it will go viral. Now let's look at the analytics. I uploaded the short six days ago when I was preparing for this video, and you can see the short has reached over 200,000 views in the last seven days. These numbers are typical for a channel of my size as I do have over 200 150,000 subscribers and I'm expecting my short to still go viral because if we take a look at my channel and click on any of my viral shorts you will see each of them don't get pushed into the algorithm for anywhere between 7 to 21 days. You should also expect a similar time period for any of your shorts to go viral as I've only had one short on my channel go viral within a 24 hour period and here's the rest of my short analytics if you're interested in any of this information just pause the video and that's all you need to know about how to create a viral short. It's obviously not as easy just watching this video and then going to do it yourself. It will take time to get good at editing and actually learn how to create a good short. In my next video, I'm going to try YouTube automation and we're going to turn a YouTube channel into a business where we do none of the work.